Doc here with another physics tutorial for Physics 101 Light and Visual Phenomena. Our topic is the Biltmore House of Asheville, North Carolina and different focal length lenses. Before we look at these photographs and study them, let's consider the theory first. When you have a lens and a film or sensor in a digital camera, the sensor is the focal length away from the lens when we're focused at something far away. Notice that we use ray that goes through the center of the lens because that ray doesn't get bent and that helps us as a guide to figure out how much of the field of view here gets on our film. And you can see that it's quite large, a wide angle of view. On the other hand, if we have a long focal length, the angle of view is narrow and this is our telephoto lens. We're going to see this come to life with the Biltmore House. So we start out with a 50 millimeter lens, the normal camera lens, which gives an angle of view, a view of about 40 degrees. 40 degrees is the angle made by the V formation of your fingers when you make the peace symbol. So if you hold up the V in front of your eye, you get a rough idea of what 40 degrees is. The Biltmore House was built by George Vanderbilt in 1895 a very very large mansion and we are 450 meters away from the house. This is about 1400 feet the equivalent of about a quarter of a mile. That's pretty far. Now when we compare the 50 millimeter lens to the picture make you know with the 100 millimeter lens we see the angle of view is halved. This is a nice property of focal length and angle of view. When you double the focal length to go from 50 to 100, you have the angle of view. If we consider this to be a reference as one, then this Biltmore House image over on the right is twice the linear dimension or the horizontal or vertical dimension has each one has doubled. So you could fit two of these houses next to each other to make this bigger house. So this is two times, the power is two times if this is considered a power of one, the regular picture. Now for more fun, we double the 100 to get an even more telephoto effect, focal length of 200 millimeters, and this has reduced the angle of view from 20 to 10. Remember the rule, you double the focal length, you have the angle of view. The more general rule is whatever you do to the focal length here, say multiply by 4, you then divide by 4 on the angle of view. So 4 times 50 gets you 200. 40 divided by 4 gets you 10 degrees. This means that you can fit four of these Biltmore House images in the above case next to each other to get this bigger one. The magnification here is four times compared to the first one. So Think of three things here, focal length, angle of view, and magnification. If you double the focal length, you double the magnification. Magnification goes with the focal length. If you quadruple the focal length, you quadruple the magnification. This one here is four times the linear dimension of the top one. And for the angle, you divide. So if you double the focal length, then you divide by two and get 20. If you go four times on the focal length to go from 50 to 200, you divide by four and get 10 degrees. Here we have 300 millimeters, a seven degree angle of view. And this next one is a 400 millimeter lens. Notice that relative to the 200 millimeters, it is double in focal length so that the angle of view is halved. We go from 10 to five. The magnification here, the effect here is twice that of this one. And if you reference this one back to the first one we had, if you recall, we started with 50. You can remember the magnification by simply dividing 50 into 200. That gives you four. This one has a four times magnification compared to the first, which is our reference. And this one here, if you divide 50 into the 400, you would get eight. See, this is doubling uh, what the 200 is doing. So this is actually eight times the magnification of the first reference picture, the fifth the millimeter case. Here we have the same focal length 
lens, but we're going for the tower. Notice the beautiful mountains of the Blue Ridge Mountains in Asheville, North Carolina. Very, very nice background. 500 millimeters here. This is more magnification. And 600 millimeters, the angle of view getting smaller and smaller. 800 millimeters, look at that, less than three degrees angle of view. 900 millimeters, 1200 millimeters, 1500 millimeters. Now, 1500 millimeters, if you divide 50 into this, you get 30. The magnification here is 30. 30 power, that's a telescope. Notice that there is a little deterioration in the picture because I am cheap. I'm using a zoom lens with teleconverters rather than going out and buying myself expensive lenses, an 800, a 900, a 1200, which would correct for aberrations and have better optical quality. This last one here, the 1800 millimeter lens, almost 2000 millimeters, which would be a magnification of 40, power of 40 compared to that first one. And if we look at a comparison with a very, very wide angle lens, 132 degrees across here, you can't even see the tower here. So the eight millimeter lens on the wide angle side, because we're less than 50 and quite less than 50, and here, since we're quite above 50, super telephoto effect. It's nice to see these two together. Well, I hope you enjoyed our image gallery of the Biltmore House, taking with different focal length lenses. Doc signing off for now. See you later.